I forgot the the putting out an album. Dude, it sucks. It's wild. The worst part is having it done and just sitting. Nothing worse. Oh my God, tell me about it. I want to just be like, I, I don't care. Just like make it be worse. Like yeah. just have it be worse. And then you it comes out and it's like when you like ordered food and you it took a really long time. Yes. And so when it finally comes out, you're like, I don't even want this. I, I'm, I got a new, I got a new meal. This, I know, bite the hook. I'm watching a trailer. I want to see this new movie. Exactly. Now. I want to yeah. see the new Planet of the Apes. It's very <laughs> difficult. Hello, welcome. It's Hardler time. How are you, Bo? I'm tired. My back hurts. This is day two for us here at Bob Wilson's <laughs> 10th annual F*** Your Attitude Festival mm. here in Tampa, Florida. Today, we have a very special guest. Who do we got? Where <laughs> to begin? <laughs> Beloved. We go, we go back. We do go back. Yeah. We go back a ways. Yeah. Beloved, enigmatic, energetic, charismatic. You hear that? Front man for legendary mm. Long Island hardcore band, oh. Brendan Garone. How are you, sir? I'm great. What an intro. He, he's got him. Everybody says My that. My head's not going to be able to leave the door. Yeah, you when do you start be. formulating those? On the spot. On, on, the, the, on the spot. If I overthink it, it'll be a disaster. Yeah, it'll be bad. Huh. No one's ever called me enigmatic. I feel like I'm the most boring person in the world. That you know of. True. Exactly. Just let me tell you something. True. You walk away, they go, what a fucking my phone. What, what an enigmatic, enigmatic guy. guy. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. like, what does that mean? <laughs> exactly. You'll never know. How are you, Brendan? I'm great. I am 10 minutes from playing, or mm -hmm. 10 minutes post-playing. You just played. So I'm, I'm tired. You just played yeah. an amazing set. Here's a clip great. of it. It was great. Wow. That Wasn't looked, that awesome? That looked good. That was really good. Good job. Yeah, I love that song. That part was crazy. I agree. I can't believe she did that. I know. <laughs> so something crazy is you are, you're part of an elite club. Yeah. Amongst hardcore bands. Oh, good. I got two. There's two elite clubs you're in, not unlike the Men in Black. This one is, you're part of the four album. Four LP right. club. Right wow. Now. Yeah, that is dangerous territory. That is dangerous. <laughs> I think we're five. You're five. You're five. Reality, isolation. You count reality? No, but reality, isolation, <laughs> rust, posthuman, new one. It's so dumb. either way, I'm in. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we should get jackets. Anyway. Yeah, we, cold jackets. Four, <laughs> who gives a shit? Four LPs, Brendan, starting wow. yeah. with Crusade. Yep. And it's been such an honor to watch this journey because Crusade Thank was you. like a slow burn. It was a slow burn. You put it out and it was like, yeah, this band exists. It was a, it was a local record. Yeah. What, what year was, was that? 2009. Nine? Yeah. That's so, yeah. Dude, that's so crazy. Yeah. 2009. Harm's Way, 2009 as well. Really? Yeah, I think we. A lot there's of, a cohort of bands who started right around right like then. almost the exact same year. Because Backtrack, Two I think, years. was 2008. Yeah. Eight, yeah. What were you? We started Seven. 2006. First LP was 2009. Yeah. Okay, we started in 2007. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. That's crazy. It's great we're here, you know? Yeah. It's, it's this generation, truly. Bob Wilson brought us here. <laughs> and then was was Cost of Living the next one? Yeah, Cost of Living in 2013. You know, it's an even 2013. more... 2013. Yeah. I was going to say an even more exclusive club. I don't know how good it is, is the three split seven inch club, which <laughs> well, I guess it's us and... Is Hatebreed in that club? Ringworm. Ringworm for sure. Neglect. Oh no, that's only two. Yeah. So you beat Hate Parade. So that's There's got to be another band with, uh, with Ringworm. Probably. Ringworm. Terror. Ringworm. Yeah, Terror Ringworm. Yeah. Ringworm Hate Breed. Ring, oh, that is. That Isn't there a Ringworm Cold as Life split? Yep, I have one. Ringworm and oh, Senior. Right. So, like, I mean, this is like rarefied air. Yeah, yeah. And this ter is Terror as well as a band. Yeah. True. Three splits. They've got a Terror Promise plan of attack. <laughs> It's not <laughs> Terror, uh, the Dead Man's Hand. Yeah, is yeah. it first? No, it's Ringworm. Yeah, they count. Terror, and there's got to be one more. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. Probably. I don't know. Crusade. Yeah. What were the expectations in early incendiary days? And what was you know what was the public reaction when that record came out? I think it did okay. The expectation was, I hope we continue to get booked playing shows on Long Island. Right. That was my sole focus. Yeah. And I was happy, pretty happy how it came out. 
with the exception of the vocals, I got very sick mm. during the recording process. Still probably the sickest I've ever been. So like to me, I can hear like, this is when I wasn't sick and then this is it after I was sick. But mm. it was a extremely stressful recording process, mm. uh, just like schedule wise, because it was we recorded on Long Island mm. and we did it during the week. So I would go to, I lived in Queens. I would go to work, take the train to the studio in fairly like Eastern Long Island um, and then stay there till like two and then go home and sleep for like two hours at my parents' house and then get up and get the train and go back to work. Like, wow. so I obviously got sick. From yeah, that, of but course. You were already a professional man by day. Sort of. It was, yeah, I just, cause like at that time we were just kind of, it, it was very local band. Like yeah. we were kind of just, the, things were, things were like kind of starting to like pick up steam on Long Island. It was kind of like, it was an interesting, interesting time in Long Island, like backtrack was just kind of mm. starting and just re and then they were like hitting the road. They united the yeah. boroughs. Uh, I would they say. were, yeah. Don't get me started. On would that you, track. would you co-sign that, that statement? They are, it pisses me off when people don't talk about them as being like one of the best Long Island bands in history. Like yeah. if you don't have them in your top five, you're just wrong. They brought so many people to hardcore. Uh, they they put Long Island like on the map again as yeah. like a place like yeah, post sure. post Silent Majority VOD. They they do not get enough credit. If you talk to a lot of the, I guess what would be like twenty five to thirty five mm -hmm. forty yeah. year old people, like it's backtrack. Yeah, and they, pre backtrack, you couldn't put a Long Island band in your like list of favorite New York hardcore bands. Somebody would stop you and go, "No, that's Long yeah, Island. that's Long Island." Yeah, they and now together. and straight up, I think backtrack ended that stigma. Yeah, they. I mean, like VOD got co-signed, yeah. and it's obviously like the New York hardcore documentary yeah, and time. stuff. But yeah. like, they were very they were they rode for Long Island, and and so did Backtrack. But their sound was very like but NYHC. Yeah. Even in the in that documentary, it's kind of like tongue in cheek because they're like mowing the lawn. Exactly. You know, oh, it's kind cut, of like the a cut joke. To the lawn, you know? it's yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. The accents and stuff. Like, I, yeah, I love powerful. I love hearing peers talk about peers. In, with reverence like yeah. that. I think that that's really cool because we we met them really early on, but I didn't really, I wouldn't have known that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't really yeah. put that together. They they were always around and they kind of like, there was a little bit of a lull on Long Island. And when we started that, like we were obviously like aping like Strife and 108 and mm -hmm. still trying to. And mm -hmm. like, that was not, popular no. mm. and you fast forward to like the past couple of years and you, i'm like wow this is like i love all of this yeah everybody's going everyone's Nino, Nino doing Nino yeah now. exactly um, but like <laughs> at you the could time, get shot for going Nino, Nino a couple yeah of years it ago. was not it was it was the it was the melodic hardcore yeah the hardcore sort of death the dark meal. times the dark times the dark times <laughs> yeah yeah so your goal was basically if silent majority was hard just being the, a cool long island band that yeah. played every now and then and you didn't have big aspirations to be a big touring band or anything like that no, we, we wanted to play more. There wasn't the, uh, it was all doing it ourselves. We yeah. would like email people and this is hell was very helpful to us. They, they mm. were really like, they were absolute road dogs. And so mm -hmm. they would like try to connect us with people, but we, it was always kind of like, it's hard to articulate. It wasn't in our mindset because there wasn't like this demand where it's like, we got to hit the road, man. Yeah. The album's taken off and yeah. it's, it just wasn't like that. And we were kind of just like really enjoying it was the best way I can explain it is it was very Long Island centric. Okay. I was way more focused about being like, oh shit, we're like playing third. Peak with this weekend. Well, well yeah, definitely or out east, but like where we are on the bill, yeah. Yeah, like we're not opening anymore. Like, oh yeah, shit, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. And like the reaction, I remember the first time we got a reaction to one of the songs on like our seven inch. I was like, oh, I'm in Metallica. Yeah. This is amazing. This is it. So it was very, it wasn't that we were like ignorant. It was just like, we were very satisfied with yeah. how things were going. It was awesome. Beautiful. And it's, yeah. it, you know, there's probably somebody watching or listening who's from like a small town who could be like, wait, that's how, that's how I that's feel how I about, feel. about Little Rock or yeah. about Springfield, Milwaukee Missouri. Or Springfield, the greatest, yeah, the whatever. It's like, yeah, we're talking about City. Long Island. Yeah. Like, well, it has such a like, history and like it was also the time of like long island the emo long island yeah, too yeah big time and so like there was like the the kids into hardcore and then there was the tenfold kids into brand new and taking back of sunday course, and that yeah. was like popping where off. do you stand on that debate well so back then i was too cool uh. because i was always very into the wave of emo before that so like i'm a big mid like braid promise ring yeah. like i'm a i'm a stan for all that stuff mm -hmm. And so when like brand new and taking back Sunday came out, I was like, 
I New mean, Jacks. Yeah. yeah. They'll go put on a strife record. But yeah. what did um, what did core kids side with between brand no, new? No, they were they were pretty accepted. They no, definitely sided with brand them, new. Yeah. I feel with like Taking new. Back Sunday kind of went in like a different yeah. lane. How did the relationship with Closed Casket start? I had been aware of them because I thought all the records that they did aesthetically looked sick. All with, the packaging it's was always good. Still, unruly packaging jump. is still cool. Maybe it was the another victim yep. one that yeah, they did. That was on there. And I just became like aware of it. Um, and we, I like messaged him on a whim, and we started just kind of like talking. Um, and we, I remember being surprised. I was like, oh, he's like, he's heard of us, and like yeah. he's interested, and it kind of like morphed because before that, a lot of the seven inches were they were very DIY, and it was basically like remember the time which was like. The goal of this is to get vinyl. Yeah. That is the only thing we're looking it. for. It's like, these guys are going to print vinyl for yeah. us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A $5. Oh, I'm, this is, I'm signing to Interscope right now. Yeah, right, like, right, it's right. just, that was the goal. And so we had some ups and downs with, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the smaller labels doing the splits and stuff. And then Justin came along and we did this Zababa split on it. And it was yeah. like, oh, damn, this is like, this is amazing. What and year just, was that? Oh, man, it must have been like 20... 10 or 11? 11 yeah 2010 or 2011 i remember something, something with that and you tell me if this is true yeah um zabalba record you guys were gonna just do that bc boys cover i believe on there yeah we had that we did that and then we did like another song that never saw the light of day but zabalba recorded their side and you guys heard it and you were like fuck that's good we should do something else yeah, I think so. I, there was something like that. And I remember b being like, I can't, we can't put this stupid cover on it. <laughs> yeah, like, this, yeah. This is like, I want to take this seriously. Because yeah. the Bobble songs on that is, they're amazing. Awesome. Yeah, they're yeah. awesome. They're so awesome. Even the, same with Suburban Scum. The, yeah. the tracks on that, like Drifter is a banger That's, that's song. That's like, the, that's, that's the hit, Still, dude. Yeah. I know, yeah. The, 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 all those splits were like a very fun and weird time of us. Trying and it's to cool. It was like fun. a cool little triangle yeah. of bands all doing splits together. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. a, it was a, it was organic. It was fun and it felt like exciting. And it's funny now people being like, so why did you choose to do three splits? It was like, it's just, we didn't, it no. was like, we had yeah. an offer and yeah. we were like, sounds great. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it was fun. Cost of living is right after that. Mm -hmm. And that was where. Things changed. Things changed. <laughs> yeah. Guys. And you, I would say you guys um, pioneered the system of, hey, we all have jobs. This is the other club. This is the other club. Yeah. Um, the club of guys with jobs. Yeah. Who can only do this on the weekend. Yep. So if you want to see us, it's only going to happen a couple times a year. Yep. We'll see you when you see you. Yeah. Yeah. You, thank you. We <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as another member of thank the club you. as a member of the club i can only thank you yeah we were just feeling around in the dark back then man truly had yeah, no idea god did you make it work yeah yeah the, the, we did the only thing was in that era post cost of living it definitely was a like oh now there is demand mm -hmm. but then by that time we were older and then it became weirder but we we played a lot yeah we did not play a lot in a row right but we played constantly mm. and like that era we went to Europe a couple times. Mm. We went to the UK. Like we did that. We did the California thing. Yeah, that was with, amazing. Yeah, yeah. We did that. We what well, we did? We did the set. We played Sound and Fury. Yes. And then we did the thing with you, the sickest lineup in history. Maybe the sickest lineup. Well, in which history. was it? Was us? It was Switching Tongues, Incendiary, Death Threat, Nails. Yeah. Whew. And Death Threat was just like perfect. So sick. The Aladdin Junior show. With yes, that. dude. The Gilman one. I mean, it was like yeah. Truly, I'll never forget those. Mm. We played San Francisco, and me and Todd Jones drove the entire way in his car, mm -hmm. all the way to L.A., just me and him, never met the guy, hung out, he took me to Oxnard, we drove all the way That's to the this, long way. He dro drove me all the way to this lookout point, which ostensibly had a beautiful view, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> he's soup fuck, and he's oh, like, dude. this would have been sick. I'm like, all right, let's get back in the car. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, mm. and that, but like, all of that time, we, we really did get around. We played as much as humanly possible. So it felt as if we were doing it. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of. But um, what's, what's cool is the proof in this pudding of being in this club is that there's a demand to see you. Yeah. And there was ever since I became aware mm -hmm. of, of Incendiary. Yeah, I mean, the other thing that with all of that is like, economically speaking, yeah. which I know is a very taboo topic. Yeah, we should talk about it. I lived in, so after I went to college in New England and then I moved back to New York and I Harvard. lived in this city. Yeah, Har yeah. MIT. Yeah, okay. no, I, I did not go to MIT. Um, and New York, I don't know if you guys know, this is actually pretty pricey. 
Oh, so, right. And so, like, the thought of, oh. yeah, it's pricey. Mm. Pricey. Um, it, I couldn't even fathom, because I grew up with my friends who mm. toured, all living in their parents' house. Yeah. That was just personally, for me, not there's anything wrong with it, that was like a line I was not willing yeah. to cross. Yeah. I was just like, I'm, I refuse to mm -hmm. move home. Totally. And so I didn't, I didn't really see the there there. Mm. Um, but looking back on it, I think it was, it was just one of those things where it was not a conscious decision. Like, here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to pick a couple. No, it was just like, they offered us this. We'll go do that. They offered us. It was very reactive. We don't have to lose our asses to play this show. So yeah, therefore we yeah. can play this show. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, well, actually more often than not, it was, we can lose our asses on this show oh. because we can go in the red or whatever for this one and then we'll do a little bit more and maybe we have to go into pocket for something but like this show is sick yeah so wow. we'll play it and like we can do we can do dumb things that don't make as much financial sense because i have a job where i sit at a desk and so that was the other benefit where it would be like hey can you fly you like we used to go and i don't even know why man we used to go to ottawa all the time <laughs> and play in quebec um and I, what I is all the time like three times, like in like 2009 and 2010. That's stuff. so many that's times. A lot. That's, a lot, right? that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I think that's as many times that's as like I've black been there. flag level. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 No, you're, yeah. you're metallic. You are Ottawa. I, and it was just like, well, they just, they kept asking us to play. What do you wow. want to do? Yeah. So yeah, that, that was kind of the vibe, man. And we had a, we just had so much goddamn fun. So you grinded awesome. in a different way, basically. We grinded in a different way. Yeah. That's right. In yeah. A, in a more, you know, time effective. And now it's like way. a thing. Now it's a thing. It's people, very much a thing. Oh, people and I'm say loving it to me all the time. Who else is in that clip? Mind Force. Mind Force? <laughs> Never ending game. Yeah. yeah. Mind, Mind Force is a good call. Yeah. Uh, there's another club I would argue they're a part of. Oh, tell me all about it. A Fest Killer. Oh, yeah. Along with Mind Force. <laughs> like, there was a point in time where, where you were a band where I remember vividly thinking, like, thank God we're not playing after yeah. them. So, not headlining the Fest? Yeah. Like, a, this is hardcore. Yeah. I specifically remember watching you guys from, like, behind a curtain at the Electric Factory and a This is Hardcore. And being, and I think we played bo right before you. Okay. And being like, thank God. Yeah. The this is hard. That was funny. I was talking about this today. The, those were a little bit of a game changer for mm -hmm. us. Big those time. fests were unbelievable. I think we did, it was like 2013 and 2015 or something like that. But they were, uh, they were, they changed, like, our band. Yeah. And that that was a very unexpected mm. thing. And, and this is hardcore was just crushing it. Like yeah. it was a really cool experience. And Joe did like, he still does an amazing job mm -hmm. with it. But yeah, that was like a one where it was like, oh shit. But I've the, never seen this many people. In yeah. Place. yeah. The, the, the <laughs> yeah. real marker for me was to this day, my favorite fest, Rainfest. Dude. The, the first time we played Rainfest, it was like, I, it was totally unexpected. And it Which was, is crazy because Seattle all due respect to Seattle. Seattle can have a thing where they like resent bands not from Seattle for not playing Seattle. Yeah. But it can go the opposite yeah. where it's like we're dying for this. But like Wisdom and Chains, huge in Seattle. Yeah. Really? Yes. They, I think it was like incendiary they Wisdom and Chains on that, that, on that day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they also, Rainfest kind of had that that late 90s me yeah, like time. heavy hardcore vibe to it. But that one was awesome because the at the time we were playing in Brooklyn a lot and it was, our shows were like very violent yeah. at that time, which, you know, cool and not cool. And then, cool. <laughs> and then we played in Seattle and I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. And like a bunch of people were singing along and I was like, oh, wow. That was kind of like a mm. a paradigm like, shift. Oh, for that me. can happen for yes. us? That's yeah. crazy. Exactly. Which is, which is interesting too, because, um, not all heavy bands get sing-alongs. Being in one, yeah, it, it was always like I'm envious at times of the lack of a horseshoe that bands like yours. Do do you equate that to how you present vocals? Like whether it's you're crystal clear, yeah, like enunciation. Dude, enunciation is the most not talked about yeah. thing. Yeah, I don't like, think we've ever try, talked trying about. to enunciate. Josta, Josta is incredible. Jay. Brian, honestly. Yeah, yeah, good call. Wow. Yeah. And wow. The higher register, I think, is it like lends to the way that being you able to understand yeah. and like, wow. Yeah, that I, that's interesting. Where the words cut through versus more than just like the noise. It's is I think through. that's a big part of it. Yeah. Um, hopefully, like some of the songs are good too, which, no, the songs you know, are great. Like, the songs but, and your lyrics and, are great and your delivery oh, thanks, is great. Man. No, I, I think, uh, like I said, I distinctly remember that show. 
and everyone was standing up front. I was like, oh, we're not going to have the horseshoe. Wow. This is that, was be amazing. First, that was like the first conscious thought of that. Yeah, we had wow. like so, this one song syncing that we played in the in the dark age era of like 2008 2009 of of that did really well in long island and is that no it's um oh i don't even know how it goes you know that one no you don't you know that one now i know oh yeah that one crushed that yeah that that one crushed. You don't remember? Oh oh oh! Yeah yeah yeah! Oh yeah, that song. Oh. I think that's that's banger. Antichrist. Yeah, that's a banger. Yeah, is that track one? That is track two. Banger. We should bring that back. Bring it back. Bring it back. We should bring it back. Yeah. The old song thing is funny because like you know like legendary bands like it's like oh my god Metal's gonna play something off of Kill 'Em All. Yo, this yeah. Like, yeah. We're the opposite of that. Yeah. So it's like, we'll be like, we're going to go into the vault for some early tunes. And everyone's like, I don't know what the song is. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's how God's hate is already. It's fucked up. You can't play any of that. But that is, yeah, a, you're right. that that's, is just a band, that's a band's dream. I know. To have people it, like it, new it material. Is. It is. But new sometimes album we're... being the top streamed on Spotify. Dude, is like, you have we bands did. that are six, seven albums in that are that have to play, have to play most the of shit. the first album. Yeah, You got four. You I got also four. know from talking to Loudon. That when everyone, when we were still on Closed Casket, and like when everyone was on Closed Casket, who in like um, that era. I think that was some era. It was oh like the God. 2012 to 2014. Yeah. Like the, sh the lineup shirts that he made, yep. you know, where it was just like, holy. Still got them. Yeah, oh, still yeah. got them. You got them? Still oh, got yeah. Them. yeah. Yeah. Um, that era, I know for a fact that like we may have been in like X amount, like pressing number, whatever you were in pressing number, whatever. And they were like, Two. <laughs> you guys were like, eight or like something. eight or nine cost of living. St moved. Statistically moved. number one, it moved. Yeah. yeah. Big time. Yeah, and wild. like, I don't know if people like, no one would know that obviously, but like that me meant a lot it's huge, yeah. at that time. Yeah. Not even talking money or anything silly like that. Just, just like Support. the amount of people who want yeah. this thing and to like have it physically in their home. Yeah. It w I mean, it was very unexpected because at that, you guys know, it's like when it's that for all intents and purposes, that kind of felt like our first album. Yeah. 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 And um, it's like, doesn't Pantera have the glam album or something? No yeah. one talks yeah. about. Yeah. It was kind of like them, that. Right? Yeah. But like one without Phil. Yeah. yeah. But like it was you, you're just that's why so many bands like first albums are good because you're just you're doing it blind. You don't no know what rules. you don't know. I had no idea what people were going to think of it when we put it out because we were never you know like your friends that are like check out this check this out and they're playing it from the iphone and it's like and you're yeah, like yeah, yeah man cool, sounds man. good yeah, sick. it's gonna be on the new album yeah. and you're like awesome sounds great um we never did that mm. and so it was just all of like us and then we'd be like i don't know if this is good we didn't do fucking pre-production yeah we're just you just go in there yeah, and be course, like okay so what are you guys working with 10 songs okay so uh <laughs> when and you're gonna trim nope we got 10 songs they're ready to record here here are the tracks we're yeah. ready to go like that so that's kind of the vibe mm. and so then you you put it out into the world and it's the weirdest feeling it it's is. still fun where scary. you're like i don't it's very scary and then the journalists put a number on it and yep yeah exactly you're stuck with that yeah and then you get cool spotify numbers for a month and then you're like all right yeah, yeah. But, then, yeah. but then yeah you know as time goes on the audience responds yep. to it or yep. choose it or doesn't respond to it. Yep. But in your case, responds to it. Yeah, it was. A, and then you go, oh, no other statistic matters other than this. Yeah, it's, it, that, that was like a blessing. It, it's been very unexpected. Mm -hmm. Really, really fun. I mean, like, I can't if you told me I started the band when I was 22, uh, maybe or something. Wait, 2007. Don't do this, man. Yeah. You don't like, do I don't know. We don't a need young buck. Yeah. <laughs> You were if you're like, young. you're going to be old as hell and you're still going to be doing it. Yeah. I'd be like, nah, there's no way. So it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Beautiful. Man. Feels great. You're a peacock, man. Yeah. No pun intended. I'm a peacock, um, man. <laughs> so a third album, mm -hmm. Pressure. Mm -hmm. You felt that? A little bit. Yeah. The follow-up. Because Cost of Living was truly a, a phenomenon. Yeah. As we discussed yeah. two minutes ago. There was, um, there, there was pressure. I felt a little pressure. Did Putney do that one too? Yeah. Did he do Cost of Living? No. Who did Cost of Living? Jeremy, God, I forget his last name. He was somehow affiliated in that Jersey thing. Okay, okay. Um, love, love the way that, love the production on that one. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big yeah, time. yeah. We've had different productions. The We used to record the Splitzer with Will Killingsworth. Oh, yeah, the homie. If anyone, new band or something, is I think Will still does stuff. Are you guys familiar with him? Yeah, He's an I don't think I am. He, he, I think he was in Orchid, and he records in Amherst, Massachusetts. 
all analog, like for anyone looking to record, he is amazing. Uh, I loved going up there. That was like some of the still, in my opinion, like some of the best sounding stuff we've real, ever had. You know? Yeah. yeah. So playing real live, awesome. like it was, it was awesome. Uh, but yeah, and then we found Will and, and, and then Putney band. did last two. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about. Blast. Tell me a little bit about putting the third one together. Thousand um, Mile Stairs. It? it was good. It felt like we were like it felt more pro. Yeah. Mm. Will was like the cool thing about Will is that he liked our band. Yeah. Which I guess I almost feel like that sounds funny, but it's like no, but, it's huge. It's so and especially after talking to him we for just a few hours, him about like it, yeah. that's such a big thing for yeah. him. That he that like there is some t he to openly talked about like well I got to pay some bills. And 100%. sometimes that's how it is. 100%. Because you, know? you always have that in the back of your mind. It's like, oh man, he probably thinks this stinks, blah, 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 yeah. blah. And no, it was, he's, he, we had met him before that and he was like, I would love to do it. I was, oh, wow. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So we'd kind of felt like we had like an advocate. And, uh, it, and I mean, then you have Justin who's like, hey, whatever you need. Yeah, I mean, let's it, do this thing. Money's no object. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but no, it was. But really, awesome. just work is no object for him. Yeah. Because, because he believes in in yeah. in his team. He's always. So strong, I mean, like he. You, know? you guys know he's just been like the, the best. Uh, the, uh, a very important sounding board. Yeah. And uh, really like good sanity checker yeah, for a lot so. of things. Like, does this suck? Is yeah. this cool? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. he'll shoot you straight. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. He'll shoot you straight for sure. So that it was a good experience. And I was, that is like, I was for the first time, I'm very critical of myself. Mm -hmm. That was the record where I was like, I love this. Good. I love oh, how nice. I sound on this for the, for the first time. I was very happy with, with the vocals on it. Yeah. Around, we did, um, you did at least a week or so yep. of life and death. Yep. Right. That we did together, yes, which sir. I think was 2014 oh, or dude. 16. They steal all the shows. No, it was a stacked lineup. It was a stacked lineup. We played Hamtramck. We played Toronto. Great name, isn't Made it? Up. Fake as hell. Fake, Fake name. <laughs> Toronto. Pretty sure we played DC. We played like DC proper. Jesus. Holy shit. I didn't yeah. know you could do that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I know I remember it. Yeah. It was Tor like Toronto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hamtramck or whatever yeah. is, is Michigan, right? Yes. It, it rocked. It rocked. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was an awesome tour. And But I just Good remember job, like, Jimmy. I remember feeling like, Oh shit! They're they're touring. Yeah, they're in a van. Look at us. You know, they. Yeah. You, you, I've been in the van with you. Yeah, a couple times. We had a minivan for a while. That was the touring rig. Huge. First dude. tour was down to Florida in uh, in Lamelli's Nissan Quest with a trailer. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. It was very dangerous. Yeah, really your, fun. Your first time in California was with a little band called Sleepwalkers. Goddamn right. How'd that go? last yeah <laughs> so much fun sleepwalkers was fronted fronted by uh, a man named nate blavelt i don't know who that is I'm now known as yeah, brody king oh oh yes yes him yes shows were not amazing no but fun <laughs> yeah found out how big california was oh yeah it's a big place did you play like redding or something we did we definitely played in a garage in sacramento maybe we de or one time we played davis when, Davis when we're out is there. lit, dude. No, I think it was it was a, gar a garage slash bar slash. Was barn. that good though? No. Oh, okay. No, so no, I've no. played a garage yeah. slash barn. Fuck, where was it? Some of the shows I feel like were good. I I feel like we played California all the time. You did, then. yeah, you did. The Aladdin Junior shows were unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I think we played we played the Cobalt. You played the Cobalt? Yeah, there it is. And then we also played what's the one that's like in a strip mall, really small. Which one? Kind of legendary, I think. Chain reaction. No. Sacramento. No, 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 no. In no, LA? In Southern California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strip mall. Yeah, isn't it? Yes. I'm like, oh man, this is going to kill Strip me. Strip mall. It, it, was it like a studio too? Were there like practice oh, spaces oh, oh, in it too? Oh, uh, Sound City. No, that's oh, Rock, Rock City and Camarillo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Camarillo, yeah. 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 R. R. Dude, R. I loved it. The place was awesome. Yeah, it was. Yeah. The guy came back and he, he talked like that. He would go, you guys need pizza or <laughs> burgers the, or like, The like little practice rooms where you yeah. have green rooms. Oh, the green rooms with practice rooms. Ronnie Chun was the guy's name. Shout out Ronnie. Didn't we play there? That was the nail was it, yeah. It was awesome. Very. Man, can you imagine doing that now? Be, we should be at MSG, dude. <laughs> so we could do death that. Death threat, the, the death with the lineup, death with, at MSG. with the boys, with Wes and everyone. Come on, oh, man. Dude. You're the best band in the Game world. Game over. Yeah. All right, Thousand Miles there. Yeah. Tell me about putting that record together. Um, Brutal or what? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Challenge. Just try, tried really hard. Yeah. Um, it shows. Thank you. It was great. I definitely felt like we had like, Locked okay, we in. need to like work on it. And like, well, more of like a, 
like not baggage. What's the word? Just like you, cost of living did unexpectedly well. Right, yeah. right, right. So like, oh, like, oh shit, shit. There we go. If yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. do that again, yep. Is it our fault? We so, pr we prepped a lot for it. We practiced a lot. And it really sounds like it. Yeah. We were ready to rock. It sounds like five guys in a room going, we're not leaving this fight. And we, we had get tighter, yeah. Yeah. nothing else on the table. Nothing else in the tank. Oh, it was that, like, that this was is the dry, material that out. we have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, how gnarly was the idea of writing another record after that record? Like, no, this is never happening. We're never doing that uh, again. We just wanted to wait until it be like was more like less like paint like you don't have we don't, it's not like we have an album cycle to yeah, worry yeah. right 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 the 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 impetus for doing another one was like I started to I was like I can't subject these poor people to these songs anymore like yeah. I know that's not how most people think but like when you're in a band you're like we're doing this we got to put out new stuff like, yeah we right. just have to and we wanted to wait I knew that if we forced something it was gonna suck sure and so it but yeah does. dude doing a fourth album. Insane. Suicide, dude. It yeah. sucks. Suicide. It sucks, man. And like the the like the 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 powers that be, like the the, the forces of hardcore is like, no, you're supposed to break up. Yeah, like you're yeah, supposed yeah, yeah. to stop playing. Yeah, people are just gonna either not like you. Yeah, or you or you yeah. break up. So, but and you, I will say, you did a fourth album without compromising anything about who you guys are. You no, it, it it was recording that was like a blast. Where'd you do that one? With Will at his new studio. At the new studio. Oh, Ooh. Kind of, is it nice amazing. there? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Did that, and then he has like a drum. He would love this. He has his own drum cabin. Drum cabin. You play drums, right? I play drums. You've been known to smack them around? What are you doing in the drum cabin? Record drums. Nice. It's a, it's a place just for drums. So we, wow. don't have, we, we don't even have to hear awesome. it. We just. It's amazing. Just, yeah. just picture it. Yeah, it's great. I love it. So we'd go there. He has the best coffee all the time. Oh yeah, he's a he's a. Big. So I would just drink this coffee that like I'm I'm not that kind of guy. Like I'll buy the fancy coffee. Yeah. But I don't do the like I don't make pour over. Like I don't do that stuff at home. Same. I have like a straight up coffee pot. Mr. Coffee. And not Mr. Coffee. A little bit Mrs. nicer. Bra it's a brawn. Oh oh brawn. Yeah. So you know brown. They got some brown. Good, they got good it's, like it's vacuums. Dope. I love and it. Stuff. And I drink Illy coffee, the Italian coffee. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. But Will has no dude. It's <laughs> no. It's very good. Are you like an espresso man or something? Been known to have a Illy espresso. I if love I, it. If I see it, like a, if I see a logo while I'm walking around in Europe, I, I know. I'm oh. not. I don't buy that logo when oh, I'm at home. Interesting. You know? I know what you mean. Like yeah, Costa yeah. Coffee is now available at AMC theaters. Yeah, and it makes me want to burn the whole place down. <laughs> Costa Living. Costa. Sometimes we say that. <laughs> Get it? I really do. Yeah, I yeah. really do. I'm an. I ride for Illy, but Will, I'm gonna have, I'll give it a shot. He's he. I, I can't handle that coffee. More it, really? it makes me feel like no, it makes me feel like I'm gonna take a heart attack and die. Really, yeah. I love that. It's, it's that strong stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's it's like when you have the cold brew that you're like, I, for me, I'm just like, I'm gonna die. I wonder what it like is. Like I don't feel more awake, but my heart no, is melting. It's the skeleton meme. Oh, the yeah, skeleton, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the skeleton exactly. meme. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it puts some hair on your chest. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> kind of fun to fuck yeah. around with. So yeah, so that's probably the best part. No, I'm just kidding. But the coffee, <laughs> the coffee, the amenities and then the coffee, drum cap. Coffee was great, and the sick amp setup that he has. Yeah, yes. It's pretty cool. He's a guitar guy. Yeah. Yeah. How how intensive was that recording process? Like how many how many vocal days did you have? <laughs> uh, what a good question. Probably like not as many as I thought. Mm. I think like three. Uh, but we did pre pro. Yeah, which how, was how just long? game changer. Two two days. Isn't or it the best? Yes, it's amazing. And then you start. You're like, oh, whoops! I should I should have been doing this the whole time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but and sometimes some of the magic is in the organic it is, sauce. You're it is, but again, the impartial third party. Where is what huge, Will is dude. good at is like, why don't you just go like that? And you're like, oh crap, that's oh, way better. Fuck, yeah. just to do it against lower. Damn it. And then he's also not in the band. Yeah. So it's like if you have an idea, you know, and you're and like oddly saying, and I'm like, no, that sucks. Yeah, and yeah. then Will said this. Will say the same thing. I'm like, you know what? He has a point. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a producer yeah. and a fan. It's it's, it's, yeah. it's and huge. that's why yeah. it's like no, it, it was it was. If when you're like trying to do things quick, you're like, but like we just did this take, like you could use that take <laughs> and just use that, but then it becomes it's better, very important. I can't imagine not doing it anymore. No, absolutely. It's just once you go back. How yeah. are how are the new songs going over live? I think pretty good. Good. Um, we haven't really had a ton of a chance chance to like do them. Yeah, you're starting the cycle. Um, yeah, well, because I had a, we, I had a, um, I had our first kid. Oh, like congrats. mere Mazel months Tana. after the album came out. What's the name? Uh, Sadie. Sadie. Yeah, she's a cutie pie. Sadie, if you're watching. 
she's go watching. To, she tunes in all the go time. To go to bed. So it's so late. late. She tunes bluey, in all the time. No more Bluey. Turn Bluey off. She watched the Jocelyn one as soon as it came out. I, I know. Pull her away. That she did. Yeah, a lot of people. She did. liked that one. Yeah, she loved it. Good. She loved it. The the not one truth anecdote was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> not one poof. She said she already knew that. So she did. Yeah, she'd she seen that it. painting in the yeah, museum with exactly. the whole lyrics exactly. on it. Nice. But yeah, so it's been it's been good. It's been they're fun to play. And then I like I have the songs that I love so i'm kind of like well i don't care what right. if people like this or not yeah. i like it oh, right. um, i mean that's why it feels great us, man. You know? it feels it it does feel nice fourth album is better be for you fourth you yeah I, exactly yeah. and it was a big i think it was six years so like that's a big break wow. between albums so it, i didn't feel as much like it's you don't feel like you're shoving it down people's throat because it was six years yeah, yeah right of course i think i think thousand miles there is 2017 so like it is yeah. it's a Holy long moly. time in 2023 yeah wow. so it was fun it was great doing it with with will um brian had a vision rob had a vision Fuck and yeah. I, it was it was fun we had love a blast. vision yeah spent a tremendous amount of time on it almost drove myself crazy <laughs> <laughs> it's worth worth every second of it it's great i forgot the the putting out an album dude it sucks it's wild the worst part is having it done and just sitting Nothing worse. Oh my God! Tell me about it. Nothing. Don't even fucking get me started. Dude. <laughs> it's all he does. All I do is wait for albums to come out. I want to just be like, I, I don't care. Just like make it be worse. Like yeah. just have it be worse. I got yeah. two just in the tank right now. Just, just put it out. Just, now. I have to listen to you by myself. Ugh. And then you, it comes out, and it's like, it's like when you like ordered food. And you, it took a really long time. Yes. And so when it finally comes out, you're like, I don't even want this. I know, I'm, I got a new, it's, I got I, a new I know meal. this. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. I know, bite the hook. Watch I'm watching times. the trailer. I want to see this new movie. Exactly. Now. I want yeah. to see the new Planet of the Apes. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. Have you seen that trailer? No. It looks unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and then how about some of the COVID folks sitting oh, on dude. albums for. That's exactly. I had to do that a little bit, but two you know, years. What was, your, what was your time frame? Recorded August 2019, released. March 2021. And then every band does the same thing. Yeah. What's going on with the vinyl? Why doesn't someone just open up a vinyl plant? And, and then Jack White does it. <laughs> and then we still print <laughs> and in Prague. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it's all that, like the, the rumors, it's like Taylor Swift put out, uh, uh, printed 6 million copies yeah. of her we live. Were, we just talked to Diane Peters about this and I told them a fact that I guess I'm going to repeat on here. But Let's hear it. The, the the thing that initially upset the vinyl industry was the Cardi B wet ass pussy single really sixty thousand copies sixty thousand seven inches wet ass pussy that song for the first time wet ass pussy yeah you know how I heard it because it's in that movie about the GameStop stock dumb money great was movie. it good watch it on the flight oh really? I loved it really I loved it and that mo that song is prominently is that positioned. an NBC Universal picture it is <laughs> not I don't think. Pardon this interruption. We've got to tell you about some very important things. Um, first things first, Bo. Oh, what do you got there? Oh, this is just my AG1 that I drink every single day. Pardon me for a second. Is that the all-in-one prebiotic, probiotic supplement that you can drink every single day? It is. And let me tell you, it's done wonders for my gut. It's done wonders for my health overall. For those of you only listening... Colin just drank his AG1 in about five seconds flat. That's all it takes, man. It's all it takes to have a better day. It's all it takes to have a better life. Mm. It's got everything your body is missing. It certainly has everything my body was missing. <laughs> As traveling men mm. on the road, mm -hmm. our bodies are rotting away. And if really? you're listening to this, you know, yours probably is too. <laughs> Considering our audience, yeah, you could probably use some AG1. Yes. So go to athleticgreens.com slash hard lore. Change your life. Okay. Change your diet. Mm -hmm. If you use our link, you get five travel packs. One, two, three, four, five of them. You get to see how they, uh, how it fares on the road for you and a year supply of the vitamin D, vitamin K drops. Thank you, Edge One. Mm. This episode is also brought to you by Manscaped. Whew. Is it ever? Well, I, got, I got a box right here. I don't know what's in it. It's from Manscaped. It's going to, you know, if it's body wash, crop preserver, crop reviver, handyman, lawnmower 5.0, it's, that's a good box. Let me tell you what. <laughs> the, I, I, listen, I was deeply satisfied with the old lawnmower. Yes. I was deeply satisfied before the handyman came along. And they just keep making things to make their stuff better. It's, it's unbelievable. It's great. You, you, the, lawn, the new lawnmower being USB-C at first, I was concerned with. No, no, no. I love it. 
Everything's I love it. USB-C. I don't like to have to use a charging stand. A proprietary gimmick is bad. And it's bad. It. But yep. You being being able to plug it in and mm-hmm. just start trimming mm-hmm. is incredible. It's great. It's truly, truly a, a it's a life changer. It's it's waterproof, so you can take it in the shower and do yep. all your stuff, do yep. everything you need. Which is where you should be doing it, sickos. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> the crop mop, amazing. Wipes just for your bare butt balls and back. <laughs> and the body wash smells unbelievable. I love There's the body a crop wash. wash now, the crop cleanser. Oh. oh. It's a wash just for down there. Wow. Can you believe that? What do they get if they use code Hardlore? They get 20% off and free shipping. Yeah, unbelievable. It's the best deal I've ever heard. Ever. <laughs> so, just, so what are you waiting for, really? What's you the know? excuse? Come on. Valentine's Day is coming up, ladies. <laughs> Valentine's Day was yesterday. <laughs> Valentine's <laughs> Day <laughs> just happened. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, Easter's yeah. coming. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta escape your man, and you gotta escape them eggs, and make sure that's right. Nice Code hard, Lord. Yeah, Don't right. f- this up. <laughs> Do it. Back to the episode. Do you have a favorite NBC Universal movie of all time? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I'm like a huge Office Parks and Rec guy. Yeah. Oh, huge dude. Yeah. Parks and Rec is like I actually kind of like eclipsed it. Probably. Yeah. You think so? For me. The rewatch, but I mean, like the office is. I, I'm an office stan, obviously. Yeah. I mean, we talked. We talked at length. The, the, the trivia, remember that? Yeah. Oh, quiz dude. up. I was. Yeah. I was we the right other one. Yeah. He was talking. To, I sucks. promise you. He, he murdered me yeah. every. You suck in a, like a frustrating. I was way. number one on earth at office. It's, it was. Quiz on, up it was at, so annoying. I'm I think I, we must have played like probably like 15 oh, no. games. He beat me every time. Oh, every no. single one. Just so fast. It's not memory. I'm sorry. I don't have the memory, but now I'm. Where are you on Parks and Rec? Here's the you, thing: you're both Office fans, right? But I, yeah, but I, would, I love Parks. I would say it, Michael Scott over everyone ever, of course, over Leslie but, for sure. Yes, Parks and Rec had more regard for every character. The ensemble, the whole ensemble yep. was taken care of, yep. and everything was wrapped up. A lot more end. stronger overall. Huge, dude. The way finale better is finish. Way they, they cut better. it early. Yeah, yeah. The whole time tra- leap forward awesome. thing was cool, yeah. and it didn't feel weird. No. Uh, it's, it's the I love it when when I'm gonna put on something like everyone has their comfort show. I'm Parks and Rec Parks now, and man. Rec. What's yours? Uh, comfort show. YouTube. Le- yeah, YouTube Premium. <laughs> Fail Army. <laughs> that's my. No. Uh, I watched Fail Army today. Fuck this, yeah, dude. It was awesome. Think- they started doing a thing that's really pissing me off. They pixelate and blur out the impact of a fall. <laughs> oh, what's the point? What is the fucking point? That's like okay. pixelating, like when the ball goes in the basket. Yeah, yeah, like it's, that. it's the whole. I think it's like a YouTube algorithm thing where they're is like, "Is it fail army? Like kids getting hurt and stuff?" It's everyone getting hurt. But the best <laughs> I'm part an early is kids getting, kids getting hurt. hurt. Dude, when they went private, were you still in? <laughs> oh, I've been in for years, okay. man. Oh, Dude, years. Big, you love a good scorp. A good score. Dude, a good score. I don't know what that is. When the kids go, oh, yeah, yeah. When they bend the wrong way, dude. You know know how you know it's going to be good when you have to, when it's blurred out and you have to accept (laughs) it. And then you have to accept it. (laughs) Yeah. And then on the bottom, I tell God, this is so messed up because then on the bottom, like the really bad ones are like, don't worry, dude. little Timmy was yeah. fine. And that, it's like, so that's, there's no way dude, he was fine. Dude, they in half. It's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Two pieces. That's why I love Fail Army is because it'll always say like, driver survived or whatever. Like it doesn't show gore yeah, okay. or, or, or broken Such bones a or low anything. Bar. Driver survived. That's my bar. He's fine. Yeah. He's it's okay. like when the, the one where he falls off the ladder on QVC. Oh, and the, dude, and the lady's like, awesome. He's moving. He is okay. And yeah. It's like, this man is not okay. <laughs> we bonded over the... Um, the guy getting his hand caught in the Lamborghini. Dude. <laughs> oh my dude, that Which, is like, unreal. So I, I gotta be honest with you, Colin. Sometimes I'll if I'm like feeling blue, I'll ju- I'll just put it on. Oh. Dude, da, the, da. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they cut it at the perfect time. Dominal oh. garage. Tan 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 mia mia mia. Okay. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. I haven't thought about that in years. Is the noise real, you think? Hundred percent. hundred percent. It's cut at the. It's like there is a Twitter account. I think that it cuts all of the things at like the right. The oh yeah, yeah. Uh, screams. <laughs> cut off or something. Video, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the one going around right now where it's a guy reaching his hand through the me- the letter slot on a Dude, door, and the guy, the guy hits it with the bat, and it. then they put they edited in the Jerry scream from yeah. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like. <laughs> it's so good. Here it is. Nice, yeah. I'm a big fan of the the 
a QVC sword. Oh, the oh, tip yeah. just got me. Yeah. Yeah. That was one that, that broke oh, my Oh, it got me. No, it got me. The tip just got me, Odell. And then Odell comes in and is like, we may need emergency surgeries <laughs> yeah. in the studio. The, the, oh, the, awesome. the, the, the latter one, the, the lady was much more professional. She no. was like, and that is not supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's like he is moving. He is, is okay. It where it, and it just, folds the wrong way, dude, or were the guys in the background? So goddamn hard. It's like the, it's the telescoping ladder. I can't wait to watch this later. <laughs> he's in the back. It's the telescoping and ladder. And it's like in this like fake house. I know exactly the one. And he, he puts one. it up to this like circular window, and he he takes and he takes one, like a rag. He takes right? one step down, misses the other one, and falls off of it on his back from what like twelve feet. <laughs> Dude, it's so Real brutal that if it was in like a movie, you would be like, he'd That's be dead. Real. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, you got the lady, the, the grapes. Oh, the grape. dude. Oh, 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 stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. I wonder, that may have been the first one of that kind. I was just, where I was that, like, that was a real like innovative one. Like that video set up a lot of great things. Because you know, she tells the lady to stop. Yeah. And then she cheats. She cheats. Yeah. And then she gets out and she gets what's coming. You remember Scarlet takes a tumble? No. Dude, that, you don't remember Scarlet Takes the Tumble? I'm a pretty big early internet guy. Okay. Like this, this is this I is got one speaking for you. my you language. You don't know Scarlet Takes the Tumble. Describe it. I may She's not know She's standing on a table singing and she gets a little too far to the front and the table flips over and she goes Oh, oh yeah. On the as and she's, she's she's like standing. She's like ah. Dude, I know exactly. Like, no, like, I know exactly. That reminds me the of one. when the ones where they fall, like the skaters <laughs> fall on the rail, and then it plays like the dancing frog song, like oh yeah, and they like yeah. go into space. Yeah, that's good oh. shit. That is, I mean, the kids these days, the, what they got with They're their how injury about, memes yeah. are amazing. An e bombs world video, Hell big yeah. fan, where a kid throws a pair of scissors at another kid. Yeah, and yeah. They stick in his arm. Yes. Yep. Do you know this one? No, dude. We don't know if it's fake or real or not. I think it's. I know exactly I think what you're real. talking about. They're bothering a kid and they spray him with a water bottle, but but they're doing the ooh, ooh wah, wah, yeah. and they spray him, and as the kid grabs scissors and you hear a kid in the background go, "Oh no, scissors!" Yeah, yeah. And he just goes, Whoo! and then and then you hear like five guys going, "Oh, oh," and this kid walks in. And he's like. There is a pair of scissors <laughs> sticking out of my fucking arm. <laughs> I have to go to the hospital. That's now. how he says it. I swear to God. Here it is. I have to go to the fucking hospital. Legend. My e-bomb, e-bombs world ones are hello, my future girlfriend. Hello, my future girlfriend. <laughs> and oh, this is the best podcast In ever. This is like great. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for stopping, stopping by. by. <laughs> that one. And then the deal, deal loser, Chris. You ever see that one where it's like a dramatic reading? I'll send you that one. There's oh, that one. Oh, is that you make me hold your hands for stupid reasons? Yes. I love that one. Oh. I knew you, you would make be, me I hold your hands be, for um, stupid You guys reasons. would be on my page yeah, about this. Who could forget the leprechaun? Leprechaun in Alabama? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like... That's, Mobile the, that's the best that's YouTube the best video one. of all time. Yeah. The best yeah, one of all time. Great. I'm with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm really into the new trend of dudes filming themselves just like existing. Like the guy going to get McDonald's at midnight. Oh, so awesome, dude. They set up tripods everywhere. So it's like him in his apartment texting like a Just girl. like real life? Yeah, like just regular. Like, I can't hang out tonight. And then he's like, <laughs> snack run. And then he showers, puts on clothes... Picks up McDonald's. There's a tripod of him in the drive-thru. Yes. And then he goes home. I, I saw one of a guy going to like Walmart. Dude, Target. Target. Unbelievable. Does it he have like, a he puts finale on cologne? or it's just... No, no it's, that's it's it. Just, oh. but it's, it's just like, like, look at me, do, watch me do my thing. The, I can get down with the, that. The it's quality awesome. is incredible. I know exactly like what you're talking about. Like the production value, you mean? And dude, you look at the comments, these men are being annihilated. Yeah, just, just, just crucified. It's like, you fucking loser <laughs> scumbag. Because they're just setting up a tripod and they're like, it's them parking. So, so they set up a tripod what, yeah, yeah. across the parking lot, parked, got out, picked up the tripod, showed them checking the eggs in the aisle. Unbelievable. From across the way, you know, it's like a well, whole thing. That's the new highest do, farm do you, have farm you, farm. do you see that IRL more living where you in the city that you live in? Like, do you <sighs> see a lot of, like, influencers in the wild kind of stuff? It, uh, not in Chicago. Yeah. But Nick and I went to a gym in San Diego on this past tour, and there were multiple ring oh, lights. Gym multiple ring stuff. lights. It was that like an influencer gym, not, straight up. Um, They're out there for sure. Yeah. But, but like, not in a way that they're doing it and everybody around them accepts them. Yeah. Everybody's still like, you fucking lose. I don't know, man. It's, st- it's a little bit more normalized now. Yeah, New York, but, it's a bloodbath, dude. Yeah. You can't go anywhere without somebody being like, it's, can I ask you? It's, it's insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. You get asked stuff on the street? 
Um, no, you see people doing it all the time. Yeah. Um, and like the selfie sticks thing is still a thing. Yeah. I feel like that went away. Yeah. It's they're, tourists. They're tourists. No one told Midtown Manhattan that <laughs> it's still around. Come tourists strong. or content creators. I, they see, I think it's like both. Dude. Yeah. They're, mm. they're one and the same, I yeah. think. Right. Cause it's like, this is my trip to New York, but yeah. So yeah. let me tie this back into music. How do you feel about everyone having a potential for creating a viral clip being at shows yeah not participating necessarily the way that they would have 15 years ago yep um because and and let me say disclaimer what are we doing right here yeah, come on you know yeah i obviously i have yeah. many feelings on this okay. i think that i get concerned i realize the grave irony of this comment yeah. where we are yes i get concerned about local ass gigs like local gigs uh regular local bands where nobody is filming and everyone is hanging out and there's 75 people there yeah. like that needs to continue like yeah. really really hard and i think that like obviously there's like an inertia to more of like events and i think it's been great because i think it's good for people i think it's i think there's like a social element that i feel like i didn't really have in yeah. hardcore like i didn't have friends going to hardcore mm -hmm. like kids do now and i think um, like around some the country or in Long Island? On Long Island. I mean, I had some on Long Island, but like not to the extent. Yeah, I didn't, now yeah, people yeah. are like, "Oh, my buddy in Saskatoon." It's like, oh, "Wow, how did you do yeah, that?" You know what crazy. I mean? Yeah, yeah. But no, I think like so. There's there. That's where it's great, but like there's st it can't be like at the detriment of regular Local, ass awesome hardcore shows. I see what you're saying. Where nobody is there to do anything but like hang out and check yeah. bands. Like I, I it, everything can't always be that sick yeah <laughs> like yeah. it's good to no, have it's impossible it, it's impossible yeah. it's good to have regular shows and regular expectations good point. regular shows regular expectations yeah i definitely i think there is there is definitely an element that i've seen of that over the years changing i i, I, I think there's it's kind of two sides of the same coin where yeah I, I can see exactly that and then i can see how beneficial social media has been to this kind of music because the kids are so young now and it's a really good thing. Love it. But then it's also, we like, missed that for a while. The median age was like 25. Woo, for a minute. Yeah. Oh. Now it's also the 20, 18, 21, 19. the diversity that like oh, the dude. females, everything. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. never been, it's like never been no. more diverse. No, it, it's not. It, it, there's so many unbelievable benefits from it. I just think uh, the, the benefits, I'll say this, the benefits drastically outweigh 100%. the negatives. I, I think it's a numbers thing too, because you can go out there and watch like during TUI and see a hundred phones up. Yeah. But they're filming 400 people participating in, in a show. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of a numbers thing, too, where if someone takes a picture of people holding up their phones, yeah, that looks crazy. But then turn the camera and yeah, that's fucking it's crazy. Crazier, yeah. Yeah. I also feel like I'm biased because like I don't really like watching live sets except for I'm big into euro metal fest like oh, like yeah. cannibal corpse at Vakken. Oh, dude. I'm that, I, all day long. I'm watching that. But like <laughs> you love nasty, too. Oh yeah, you're number one Huge nasty fan. fan. You're yeah. the best, biggest American nasty fan. I would say. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's probably some contenders. But Do they yeah, know? They're... Do they know that? Yeah, absolutely. Sick. Yeah, yeah, I love them. Shout out to Nasty. They're un they're an unbelievable band that doesn't get talked out talked about as much. Oh, Hard as nails. We're on it. dude. Please. Please, I, check them out. No, yeah, they're they're an amazing band. I'm a huge fan. Unironic, by the way, just to be no, clear. Of course. Like, I'm, I'm a stan. No, they're awesome. But, I uh, love the music video in the tour bus where they're like air oh, guitaring. They yeah. are, I mean, that's like, genius. It's unbelievable. It's genius. There, we need to do something. Yeah. <sighs> there is a video of Maddie dancing mm -hmm. at at a show, and it is the awesomest, funniest, sickest thing ever. Dancing he is how? like he does these like little kickies kind Ooh. of in the air. Just obviously to like make his band laugh, which yeah. is like very like up my but up my alley. He's like pitting. And, no, and, oh, no, no, he's not dancing. hardcore Lions. dancing. Okay. Dance. Dance. He like da he's got like swag for days. Like I can only dream of having that kind of swag. No, it's it's an amazing clip. Uh, they they just they got their own thing going and they they rock. So I'm, how, I'm a big fan. How has Incendiary done historically in Europe? Pretty well. The UK, we again like we going back from before. We we actually played in the UK quite a bit. Right. We yeah. probably toured there, even if it was a three shows. So yeah. that's, you know, whatever. But like, we've probably didn't been there distinctly like seven times, eight times. Really? I feel like that's kind of a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so the UK is always yeah. great. 
And then Paris has been amazing to us. Oh man. Uh, the Netherlands is awesome. We've, we're Belgium? really, we fuck with Belgium. Yeah. Yeah. Love, yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. I mean, we, we try to get there as much as possible. We're going to do some, some stuff over the summer. That's just like a five hour flight for you, huh? It's not bad. <laughs> London. I'm, I'm a big, you're right there. Right What's, there. Play What's LA to Heathrow? 11 hours or something? Oh. Nine, 10. It's like us in Hawaii. I'm like, it's yeah. so goddamn far. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Sucks. How often do you go to Hawaii? Twice I'd as a band go, I'd ever. Love to go, like, oh, not as a band. I mean, I want to oh, as a guy. Yeah, 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 you like have to go to London as a band, and it's yeah, like, definitely. okay, I'm, I'm. It's a lot easier. My body's fucked up. You guys can go to Japan easier though, which is the best place in yeah, the world. Yeah, but that's so. still what twelve hours versus as as fifteen. Is it still twelve hours from? <laughs> yeah, LA? I think it's like ten and a half, eleven. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. which yeah. isn't twelve. It sucks, <laughs> but it's still it sucks. Might as well. Yeah, no, we do. We we've we haven't given enough love, especially Germany. That's like something I want to. I'd love to try to play there more if we can, yeah. but it's hard. What's the dynamic like in Incendiary? So good. <laughs> Do you guys right. love each other? Yeah. You love them all? Yeah. Yeah. Describe them to me. Well, we have, well, first, I mean, we have a very understanding mm. kind of a vibe lately where mm -hmm. it's like, if someone has something going on, it's, we have like a big, like no questions asked policy where it's like, I, I can't, I'm not around for don't this. Ask, it's like, don't tell no problem. Type. Not, not that it's just in terms of like being very accepting. Like you mm -hmm. can't do this gig. No problem. Like you don't have to justify Instead of being why. like, is there anything you could do to <laughs> yeah, make this yeah, part? Yeah, yeah. Just being like, all right, you got, you got your own stuff going That's on. Beautiful. Uh, that is describe beautiful. Describe everybody. Um, yeah. Let's see. Tell me about Brian Audley. <laughs> Love him. Great guy. Tall. Look, he's 100% related to Mike Dijon, right? Look very similar. Like it's Dude, something's looks there. so similar. They very need similar. to get it Both great out. guitar players. Yes. Both tall. Um, both tall. Slender. Similar facial structure. Yeah. Facially. Dude, yeah. they they're, got they're it. They're buddies. Mike is they're awesome. They're more than buddies. He is, no, he's amazing. he is the best guy in the world. We yeah. got... I, Mike, you, no, you already know how I feel. Yeah. He's the best. <laughs> they're related. Yeah. They got to get it checked out. Brian, if you're watching. Yeah. Brian, he's the tallest, right? Isn't... Oddly? I believe, oh, yeah. I believe he's... No, not even in the oh. band. Like, in the scene. I believe the last time I saw him, I asked, are you the tallest guy you know who's like involved in well, hardcore? Well, Tsunami Man, you Tsunami got big, Man. You got big Brett. Brett's taller? Brett's tall. Oh, he, Brett's. He's taller than yes. Brian. I think Brett's 6'7". Tsunami Man, 6'7", too. Yes. Oh, he's very he's, tall. He's, he's a very lanky tall man. He's very tall. <laughs> he's a tall boy. Yeah. Wow. I think he takes the crown. Tell me about Rob Cat. Man. Great, Learned. great guitar player. Tell me about his... Uh, great guitar player. Education. Uh, he went to Berkeley, I yes, think. He did. Yeah, yeah. He's a great guitar player for music. Um, he went to Berkeley with the WWE guys, and that's how yes, you guys that got is involved correct. with that. Yeah, right? yeah. So John, he, that's how he met John. Those dudes are like musical prodigies. Yeah, they're insane. Castro. Um, yeah, he's a nasty guitar player. Loves YouTube, maybe as much as you guys. YouTube. Oh, he's a big YouTube guy. Dude, same. Number yeah, one. My loves, favorite movie of all time. All loves time. YouTube. Uh, great guitar player. Um, he's awesome. He's always tired. Oh man, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm like, you'll be all right, man. Uh, and then we got Dan Lamelli, dude. Uh, friend Dan of the show, is, great friend of the show, Dan Lamelli. Dan is great. He's um, a beacon of light and hope, I would say. He's Dan is the exact opposite of me in every single way, and that's what makes us get along yeah. so great. Really? He'll rock a tie dye D's nuts shirt like you would not believe. Oh yeah, and he has. He's been doing that for years. Yeah, no, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. He actually said to me the other day, he's like, "This is kind of like my my crown and glory right now." Like a lot of people are like are really wearing a lot of elaborate things and wacky shirts nowadays. My my guy's been doing that for years. Oh really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's uh he's he's he's, he's one a of the sweetheart. Kinds. He's great. You guys are you guys are all nice, nice guys. Thanks. You ever think about that? Uh. No, <laughs> I think we're, I, well, I on, think we're nice. It's on the record now. I think we can be kind of like New York. And yeah. so people kind of find us a little bit like, we just, we love hanging out. Yeah. yeah. And so like, I think I am always cognizant of like when we're, if we're ever playing a show, that's a tour mm. to try to not be so like, this is the best shit ever. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, right. like, that's why we love hanging out with like never ending game and stuff. Yeah. Cause they're leaving it all on the field. Like 100%. they're all hanging out. They're awesome. They're so stoked to be doing if this. If we're like, in the same place at the same time, it's borderline vacation. It's you know? great. We're busy guys. Yeah. And it's then great. we're finally together. And it's, it's like, great. isn't this great? Especially <laughs> post pandemic. Yes, oh, dude. Where yeah. I'm like every show, I'm like, this is great. Yeah. This is, a, I love hanging out. I can't believe leaving the house now. Yeah. You like leaving the house? Uh, I used to. I used to be the guy who could I I could not sit still. Mm -hmm. uh, I hated being in the house. 
And now that has changed pretty, pretty You love being in the house? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, leaving the house is great, but you know what's r- even better? Getting back home? Going home. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. Going, going home is going sick, home. dude. Mm-hmm. Going home like an hour later than I would have wanted to most of the time? Yeah. Going to bed? You got any dogs? Yeah. Sick, dog right? guy? She's my, oh, my God. My pride and joy. That's straight Her up, name's dude. Matilda, but we call her Maddie. She's 13. Kind of looks like a fox. Fuck Adorable. Yeah. Um, losing her hearing, losing her eyesight. Even better. But she's great. It rescued her when she was around one, so we've had so her. So you've like, had her, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's my ride or die. Just the dog? Nah, I have a kid now. So the dog and what? the kid, <laughs> the same thing, right? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, no other pets. I am extremely allergic to cats. To cats, okay. And I am. I'm regular, over them, dude. I'm regular allergic to dogs. Like I'm allergic to my yeah, dog. Yeah. I'm that to my cats. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to be s- bearably allergic. Bearably yeah. allergic. So oh, I have to be I'm, like hyper aware of their fur. So my my place is really clean because of yeah. it, which is kind of a. You know, it's a good thing. I'm on the allergy level of I'll, I'll walk into a house and just be like, hey, what's up? There's a cat here. There's a cat here. Yeah, There's a cat I, here. I gotta, or a cat that like lived here in the, in the early 80s. You and Mike Cesario. And Ringworm. And ringworm. I am destroyed. <laughs> yeah. I'm destroyed. And yeah. people don't get it. No, you they don't. They have to be allergic. Yeah, they yeah. don't, yeah. Because in bands, you're like, I'm like, no, no, I can't stay at this yeah, house. I'll just die. And they're like, dude, just, no, they, they just vacuum, they said. I'm like, don't was that, work was like that, that Brian Audley? Everybody. <laughs> that was your Everybody. Brian Audley? Yeah. Don't work like Dude. that. Yeah. Come on. Dude. Yeah. It's a place to stay. It'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't, can't hang. I, I've, I grew to understand that touring with A-Ross was like that, and yeah. Andy Nelson from Nachos is like that, too. He mm. can't. Well, there's an asthma element. It's like my yes, throat closes up. I, I got to be taking Benadryl and stuff. Yeah. Like it's, and then you're going to see it. Then you're going to see the hat, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's some good sleep, huh? Yeah. You ever take oh, two? Great sleep. Yeah. If if, oh if it's kitty related. Do you feel groggy yeah. in the morning? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. All day. I, that's why Horrible. I can't fuck it's with tough, it. It's tough, but God. Yeah, it puts you out. If you don't have to do anything the next day, rock and roll. Great day. There, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. And how's that legal? I don't know. It's just sleepy. I guess. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it just feels so We should good. try to see the hat right. man and film it. Hat man, hard lore, haunt lore, hat man. Yeah. I mean. We both take 10 and just. 10? Dude, you have to take like a whole box. You got to be careful, man. You do no, literally have to be that's careful. Ed, that's that's, that's why break. it's edge break. Hat man's edge break officially. Yeah, you guys can't be playing around with that. <laughs> no, I would never. Come on. When I, Is anybody in Incendiary A straight edge? No. No fucking nope. way, dude. No. You got you got this fucker. <laughs> hey, Sicko. dry January, baby. I'm yeah, okay. nailed to the X right yeah, now. Right. You dry? You're only seven day a weekend. Yeah, right. Brian, Brian all is pretty relaxed. Yeah. Robcat, I've seen wicked hammer. <laughs> and Lamelli is... He hangs out. Captain party, man. He hangs out. Yeah. Yeah, we all like to have a good time. And we got Yanni now. Yanni plays bass for Yanni us. He's bass. awesome. Yanni of the band Caspian. You uh-huh. familiar? No. Uh, they're awesome. Uh, instrumental from Boston. Really sick band. It Like Russian Circles vibe. Oh, mm-hmm. hell yeah. Um, he's been awesome to hang out with. We've been friends with him from, from home for years. And so, and he hangs out too. So yeah, we hang out. Like, a, like a pint of lager there, here and out. there. Favorite office character. <laughs> Who isn't Jim Pam, Michael Dwight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess Ryan, like whoever's on the covers, that's pretty much all of them. Yeah, Andy would be on there, but who's picking Andy? Me. I, he, um, he is. He is. My are favorite. you serious? I love fuck, well, not later, obviously, but when we season, first. Season eight, nine, Andy is one of the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no argument, but yeah. season four, yeah. the merger. Yeah, he's great. I think I have my answer. Okay. Well, I have a major character and a minor. A real Perfect. Minor. Okay, so my, my, the character is Roy. Dude, I think dude, he, love dude. Roy. Maybe Do- Roy's cousin I like more. Oh but my Roy, god! I love Jet Roy. Skis, skis. <laughs> my yeah. God. yeah. DUI picture Roy is unreal. Just how they knocked that out of the Dude, park. Dude, they, they just like dragged his chin in Photoshop <laughs> and left it. They're like perfect with the with the bloodshot it's eyes. Incredible. Like, yeah, Your it's art is the best art of all the art. Yeah. He's just such. He's an so good, and he's so he's like the most believable character on the yeah. whole yep. show. He's like that's guy. how a guy would yep. be. Yep. And when Pam talks about her first date. And it oh, was yeah. with Roy, and he yeah. like she left him at a hockey game or whatever, oh, or he left her at a hockey yeah. game. And then I, I just love the um, the Chili's episode with Tim, Tim, uh, what's his name? Meadows, Tim Meadows, Tim yeah. Meadows. dude, incredible, dude. And that's the, a one time deal. The blooper incredible. from that when Mike, when when Michael's like Chili's, and he just can't, like, oh yeah, they, just, they can't get through fucking it. Yeah, dying awesome. the whole time. We were ju- I was scarily is how lame I am. Was just talking about that episode when Michael finds out that she got a divorce. And as no they're ghoul. walking to no their ghoul. seat, he's looking into the camera like, oh my God. Yeah. It's so sick. Andy would be my major. If I can't pick him, I'd have to think about it. But Not major. Jan. 
Love, I love Jan. Dude. Off the Jan. rails, Jan. Love Jan. That is incredible acting. Yeah, she's an amazing. She, actress. She's an amazing actress. Yeah. I see her at Arrow one sometimes. She really? Oh yeah. She breaks the fourth uh, wall be. with with us the most. I think even more than just like I know I'm on camera. It's like, it's like like us the viewer of Office the show. Mm -hmm. I, I swear to God, some of the looks she gives to the camera, like, destroy me. Yeah. Is Creed an unfair answer? I think. Because he's kind of designed to be the favorite. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. Jan Dude. is like, obviously, everyone loves the dinner party. Yeah. But even when, like, the one where Michael has the second job and he, and she picks him up and, like, the, like, <sighs> monkey Porsche no, I'm not Boxster having monkey or whatever. <laughs> Why would Why? I be having monkey Dude, problems? Dude, no. When she's like... How was yoga? I didn't go. Didn't yeah. go. Well, I just, just did it. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's unbelievable. Shit. And then also David Wallace. Dude, David Wallace is good. His son, the drummer. Do you, Danny? Suck at it. Yeah. Do you like, do you like chillaxed, uh, not working anymore? I David love Wallace? Yeah. Insane yeah. David Wallace. I really like, yeah. uh, I don't know Patrice O'Neill's character's name. Patrice. From the, from the, from that, the that was short lived. Yeah. Wait, He's great. Remind me, please. Uh, I bet you like to swim with the sea monster. Oh, the sea monster. <laughs> yeah. Sea monster is yeah. his name. <laughs> Excuse me, Sea Monster. You weigh like a thousand pounds. Yeah. You know what's another good cameo? A legendary cameo, and that is Ricky Gervais. Yeah, oh, dude. when they meet each other right in the elevator, the end there. super brief. And you can see Michael's like so blown away yeah. to talk to him because like they have the same humor. Yeah. That that whole they could have done a they little. They could have done a little something more. with that. They should have. They should have just left him in there for a little bit. For a little they, bit. I think, but, I think but, it could have been an episode where like just like they had the guy from uh, Dumb and Dumber. For like an episode where he plays Jim, the mob guy, Jim Carrey. Oh no, oh, no, no! Oh, the, the, I forget his name. <laughs> oh no, yeah, the, the mob actor the guy. Mob like guy. they yeah. should have done something with that with with Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Or even if it wasn't Nelly right away, we had Ricky Gervais taking over for a little bit. Dude, Nelly was such a crazy decision, but she was awesome yeah. in Tallahassee. She's dude. awesome the in Tallahassee Doctor Who shit, episode, episodes. Yeah, are so are. Good. I'm surprised. There probably is backstory with the Ricky Gervais stuff. I bet they tried to get him, and they he was like, "This Maybe. is." I don't but Robert this. California is fucking unbelievable. Dude, I'm the fucking yeah. lizard king. Un Believe. I gotta go back and do our California it's, era it's episodes. I, I bad, haven't. It's been a he's while. Awesome. He's awesome. It's been a while. He's incredible. When they first introduce him and he like breaks Ryan, Toby, and Jim down, and so then cool. he looks into the camera and is like breaking down the cameraman. Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. And Charles Minor, that's another good. Charles story. Minor was good. He's. I can't wait to play with you. It's gonna be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. Uh, Great you show. have when it, what comes to mind when I ask you favorite incendiary show you've ever played, or just the most special? Oh man, I know. I mean, like, pretty hard to top Outbreak. I think a lot of bands would say that I, that might have been like the best incendiary show ever, Outbreak Fest in the UK. Uh, but that's like kind of like like not fair, I guess. I mean, it's it's everyone just, in yeah, exactly. the United in Kingdom, the, yeah. yeah, who likes hardcore. Uh, best incendiary show, yeah. man. Just favorite, favorite, most special. The one where you were like, wow, we really did something here, guys. Um, I guess maybe like we did two nights in a row at Vitus. That's cool. And it was just like a very cool vibe. They were like both sold out and like I lived down the street from yeah. there. And Fuck it was just it. had like a very fun. It was just like each show was sick. And like I love Vitus so much and the people yeah. who run it and stuff. So that those those two are up there. That's that's yeah, a good it answer. It was very that's very what cool. we were looking for. Beautiful. It was very yeah. cool. That's yeah. That's like that's not ten thousand people, right? No, but that's your home. No. Oh, what, yeah. what, do you have an answer? Definitely. Yeah, favorite show is brutal. Tough. Yeah, it might be Sound of Fury this year. That was that was good. That was pretty special. <laughs> that was ten thousand people. That was yeah. It was fun. <laughs> it was, yeah it was the good. oh, I got one more. The seventeen twenty show from like two thousand and. Uh, nineteen was maybe. The, as the Lord last show. Yes, sir. That was oh, awesome. Wow. That was awesome. That was so sick, dude. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Very. Cool. I was there. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. What time. a stacked lineup. Stacked. That was. Yeah, it was awesome. Did we Gulch opened or something? Gulch, oh, man. It was Gulch Eyes of the Lord. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> that was awesome. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah it was and then great. Close Casket signed Gulch right after that, I think. Yep. From good, that show. Good decision. Yep. Good call. Yep. You guys eat. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Been eating. Been eating. Eat, eat good. Think another eat good. Uh, another benefit of you know being adults, and having real jobs is when you go on these trips and you it's eat. like you, you can eat whatever you want. Fucking eat. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you like to eat? What do you guys like? So, I'm. We're we're kind of a local flair band. We Love like it. we like local flair. You want the thing. The thing. Yeah. 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 We like local flair. Um. Obviously, we're Taco Bell people. There's something <laughs> obviously? here. Obviously. Yeah, Taco Bell. I love it. It's Taco Bell. You get you're a seamless guy at home. 
Grubhub. Grubhub. Grubhub Damn. Plus. Uh, because dude, it like plus, came with something. Plus I lo- is yeah. amazing. I, yeah. use, I use that. Saved tens of dollars yeah. on that. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I've, I looked at my Dash Pass, my DoorDash Dash Pass yeah. savings this year. It was $1,800. I saved $1,800. It's unbelievable. It's a bargain. It's interesting how <laughs> they're they're all they're so regional now. I know. We I, I we my, got them both. I have like a family friend who lives in uh well my my sister in law she's more than a friend um and she lives in <laughs> Richmond and I like it, there was something there where like oh we don't use this one yeah Cal- Grubhub is not really a thing in California oh really I would never use and it, it. was have- big in Brooklyn and I I'm live in Long Island now and it's like apparently it's it's like it's all DoorDash yeah but I don't uh, this is DoorDash I'm not a Dash we podcast. have Postmates Grubhub and DoorDash yeah we got Postmates they, they Uber exist East. but like some of them are not off to don't use carry all certain shit. things are exclusive to each one like exactly the Indian place I like is only on Uber Eats and then like yeah, when cool. the menus all off the rails and you're like you got to describe what yeah, this is especially enough. if it's just called like chicken a la castro yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like i don't know what that is I know. so you, would your answer to a, a question we ask everybody is if incendiary is flying down the road and yeah. there's a chain that you're going to pull over for it's going to be taco bell no this is not going to go well okay you're going to hate my answer like so much so much i've been tested before brennan what could you oh i'm and i passed I'm, the test i i i have i've listened to several episodes i'm a, I'm a fan you do a great oh, job you're gonna say it aren't you yeah do you know what i'm thinking of you think you're gonna say subway no, 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 not no, that we're bad. Fine. Okay, no, it's not. No, but I, I'm, hey, say, I'm saying Panera. We're fine. Holy oh, shit. That's lo- disappointing. I love, we love it. Have you had the lemonade that kills you? No, no. He's alive. But I'd like I to. I can't wait to have <laughs> I'd it. I'd like dude. to. Yeah. I'd like to. We should go now. Here's why I like Panera. Because I figured this might come up. Okay. There's a couple things. Number one, they have an incredible coffee loyalty program coffee uh, loyalty program they have an amazing you're coffee sick lo- in the head no, dude, well, it's like it's like some, it. it's like you're 10 bucks York. a month or whatever and you no i know but i'm saying if you're traveling if you're if you live in the burbs okay yeah, it's yeah. 10 bucks a month it's something like that uh-huh. and you could just walk in and just get coffee anytime you want like a like, cold brew that's actually not that's not that bad of a uh, that's a great question is it just i don't a hot know coffee oh. i think it's just a hot coffee okay. thing no i like the coffee there I know and you if do. you're feeling sassy you want to get a little uh croissant you could do that for breakfast if you want to eat bullshit and oftentimes i want to eat crap you can eat crap there you yeah. can get mac and cheese and like all kinds of crap and if you want to try to be you know a little healthy, healthy guy yeah you can get your you get the turkey sandwich they have a good vegetarian sandwich i like the soup it makes me feel comfortable when i go there <laughs> now it's gone downhill it, yeah it's, for it's, sure. just, it's good for me it's, 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 it's good, good for me, me. yeah it's, uh, it's significantly gone downhill. Uh-huh. I but I would be a liar if I said I didn't like the broccoli cheddar soup. It's, great. it's delicious. It's the worst thing for you that you it, can it, eat. Dude, it's oh, like yeah. 1,800 it's crazy, calories a cup. I see, I see ads for that at my gym. They, the, they're sponsored the ads by Panera at my <laughs> just, gym just the soup. for the just broccoli the, cheddar that. soup. Like, yeah. we got it here. Come yeah. on over. It, it's also you're like hungry. you get in a bread worst. bowl and it's like even dude, more. That sounds awesome. <laughs> they got bread bowls? Yeah. That was like their thing. They got Red Bulls at Panera? Bread, oh, Red Bulls. Bread bowl. Yeah, a Bread Bowl with half a sandwich is like a deal. Oh, right, yeah. Brandon, I need you to make me a deal. Sure. Okay? Before this airs. Okay. We need to all try the lemonade that kills you. Yeah, I would love to. Let's all individually try We can try do it tomorrow. Yeah. We'll splice it in. Here it is. Oh, I can definitely do that. Hello, Colin and Bo. We're here at a beautiful Panera Bread in Nanuet, New York. Fireplace here. You can just feel this. This is one of the most beautiful Panera's that I've been to, and we're gonna try the Death Lemonade today. Okay, we're here today trying the Panera Lemonade that kills you. First try, first sip. I'll do this on a scale from one to five heart attacks. Oh, it's actually, it's very good. It's unironically good. You can go 4.5 heart attacks. It's like tea. You don't taste anything different, so that's gonna be a problem because there's like 300 milligrams of caffeine in this. Honestly, pretty good, but I don't know if I ever need to drink it again. Update crashed, went home, took a nap. It's 8 38 in the evening. Is it still available? It's all, yeah. This is the greatest marketing yeah. thing in history. No, yeah. How it, is that possible? You can't buy publicity like this. How yeah. is that possible? They still have it, same it MGs and caffeine. Three hundred milligrams it can of it? kill you, Brendan. Water, as, water as can, can kill you. Driving, yeah. as can smoking. Well, you guys already know how I react to significant caffeine, so <laughs> sounds like I'm the perfect. Uh, I love it. <laughs> the perfect lab rat. The for lemonade it. that kills you. Yeah, hmm. yeah. But I mean, they they've gone downhill. But I'm telling you, man, there's some some towns in the snowy northeast that have beautiful Paneras. Wow. That are comfortable. Like Vermont or something. Flying, flying Wi-Fi. 
flying. I don't believe it. Fly- yeah. Oh, dude. Hyperdrive Wi-Fi. I couldn't buy it. Do you know what Panera it. is to me? Great bread. Panera is a place where when we're on tour and we need to do laundry and we go to a laundromat. And you want to recharge. I go to a Panera. You want to recharge. I have done that a couple of times. Panera's might as well be tender greens to me. You know how that, maybe you know you that want, is? Maybe you have a book exactly. you wanted to read. You I can don't. sit there with a book. Look, I, have a, I have this little computer in my pocket can't with read. YouTube on it. Dude, straight you, up. If you want to watch YouTube there, you That can. is the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you can, yeah. They actually allow you watching YouTube there. Wow. Oh, on yeah. like a pl- an airplane? Yep. What's the, we got to change that. What? I just want to watch YouTube on the plane. Let me tell oh, you yeah, something. Make it you. better. Do better. The uh, Panera in Hoboken, New Jersey, folks are posted up there. Really? Hours. I've been in Hoboken just before. Just streaming, just streaming stuff. Wow. Just watching on there, watching YouTube. Yeah, yeah, so you can watch YouTube at any Panera if you want. Well, so that's you think huge. The, the, I didn't. So, I never factored that yeah. in. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Do you think the band would say Panera, or you're gonna? I say feel it? like oddly would. We're we're pretty kindred never. food, but uh, Lamelli is full like. It will go to some place where, you know, you go to a place and you're like, I should not order that because it seems like they don't make it that oh, all. Wow. Like, he'll do that. He'll get like, the he'll lobster go to a place at Danny's salmon. Yeah, exactly. yeah, dude. Yeah. He'll be like, I'll have the chicken gyro. And we're like, no. like. <laughs> and even the waitress is like, really? Exactly. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah, like, well, yeah. yeah. So he's he's a, he's the biggest local flair guy. Okay. He'll, he'll get annoyed if we I choose. Like, uh, if we go to Taco Bell, he's like, it says, you know. Bernie's feed bag over there. Yeah, like, I yeah. want to go there. Yeah, yeah. So we usually do that. I respect it. Yeah. Utmost respect. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Interesting. Yeah, man. Couple of questions. Hit for me. You. This one you can think about. Okay. Because okay? this is this is heavy. New York Hardcore, Mount Rushmore. Mm-hmm. Long Island, Mount Rushmore. Okay. Four. Hit me. Um, Four. Well, so Age of Quarrel is my favorite New York Hardcore album. Yeah. So. Beautiful. Chrome <laughs> That's Max. a given. Yeah. I have to put the homies in indecision for me. They're there. You, you put them in city or you put them in New York, Indecision, New York or Indecision's, Indecision's Brooklyn. They're okay. born and raised. Yeah. yeah. So I have to Tom put them up there. That they're that like, yes. they're so important to me gotcha. because that's also like, I was, I was a Long Island guy. Like I, I, I was, I was mad. Well, I, I'm a huge Chromags. Like Age of Quarrel was like the record for me. So Chromags Indecision. Chromags Indecision. Got to put Madball. Huge three so far. Mm-hmm. Well, Tom is watching more. this with tears in his eyes. I got two more. One, one, one more. more. Oh, Mount Rushmore has got four guys. Yeah, yeah, four yeah. guys. Four yeah. presidents. Bullshit. Yeah. Should have been five. Agreed. Um, so in America, we do the DECA Put system. Put Ben Franklin on there. Yeah, You know, exactly. he was the best one. Um, this has. To, this is just, like, selfish, like, who I like. Yeah. Man. Brendan's. Probably Marauder. There you go. My man. That's what we needed. I mean, I, I love I love AF and stuff, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but like I I if my go to if like it's just me, it's, mm-hmm. it'd be Marauder. I mean, probably. That's the best music ever written. Uh, yeah. I, I say it all the time. A friend gave me a burn CD with Age of Quarrel and Master Killer on it. it changed my life. That's crazy. Swear to God, that's I can't imagine what insane shit I'm forgetting. Yeah. I mean, the burn seven inch is huge for me too. Oh but, yeah, yeah. And Long Island, I got to do Long Island, Mount yeah. Rushmore. Give it to me. Backtrack. Fuck yeah. Boom. Love it. Vod. Love it. Silent Majority is, I know that's become stereotypical, but... I don't think it's stereotypical. It, it's I think just, it makes sense for people from Long Island absolutely. to say. Of course. They're your, like, pride and joy band. I'm not going to not yeah. say the killer. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then... God, let me think. You know who I'm going to put? Crime and Stereo. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know they were from Long Island. Oh, yeah, they, big time. They um, <laughs> big time. are awesome. Every album they put out is great. Crime and Stereo, like explosives in the will to use them era so like early 2000 like on top of the world mm. playing there coming up at the time of like all of the amazing boston shows mm-hmm. like up there would play those all the time uh i'm a huge crime and stereo guy i'm cool. very friends with them but in terms of like what i like to listen to mm-hmm. yeah cool oh, there's so many things i could say god it's a tough one beautiful answer yeah cis there baby you. now you brennan garone who do you do as a front man in incendiary Oh, man. While you're thinking of this answer, did you did you get behind a mic knowing your voice was like that? No, I tried to sound like Scott Vogel for six months and blew up my voice oh, every shit. single time. Yeah, nobody wow. can sound like that. Yeah, I tried to sound like a hard-ass MFer, wow. and I failed. Wow. I would just wow. destroy my voice. And, uh, you heard it. This is, this is inspiring, because you got to find it. You got to find, find the voice. It. Travis Riley of This Is Hell fame, great wow. guy, said... You should just try to scream. Yeah. Yeah. And just do that yell. I was like, oh, okay. 
I'm still, still losing my voice all the time, but it is marginally easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So God, who do I do? I, I'm like a big 108 guy mm -hmm. in a, in a, um, so like Rob Fish is Rob definitely Fish is awesome. an inspiration. I would put that up there. Um, I gotta be honest, like the, the guy from Maddie from Nasty's, like his swag, like I'm I, <laughs> You're jacking it? No, I I don't have it. I don't oh, have that gift. You want it. But I want it. Okay. So like I see him and I'm like, yeah, this, I this, this, dude's, do that. this dude's fucking awesome. Okay. awesome. Uh yeah, let's go with Rob Fish. I love That's it. Good. He's, You're doing he's Rob Fish. Yeah. Rob, shout out one away, Killer of the Soul, one of the hardest riffs of all time. Mm. The I the older I get, the more I love that band. I don't know if yeah, people realize how influential like 108 is to us. Like the a lot of the bands that people think influence us are like a little more off the mark. Mm -hmm. 108 is Yeah, they were doing the Dana Wana Wana Wadana Bana Bana that before anyway. The lyrics, like everything about it. I'm not yeah. that I'm like a the, you know Krishna. huge Krishna guy, but um <laughs> You can hear some of that and go like, you might be out of something. Yeah, yeah. right. That does sound that nice. Sounds nice. It'd be nice to believe in something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we're in heaven right now. Yeah. That's well, pretty it'd cool. be nice to believe in something. Yeah. It's cool. True. But yeah, I'll say him. That's beautiful. Mr. Fish. Beautiful answer. First Rob Fish answer on the show. Very true. I'm a big one. A lot of guy. firsts, actually. A lot yeah. of firsts. Yeah. He's different, this guy. I'm enigmatic. You <laughs> it's, a, it's a callback. It's what that's we call a callback in the biz. Circle. That's what we call full circle. And that is the... Uh, the culmination of this wonderful episode with Brendan. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh it's good God. to see you guys, man. You too. Yeah, you too. It's nice just shooting the shit. Isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. This is what we like. It's what mm -hmm. we do. Just shooting it. It's really nice. Well, thank you so much for being here. And I will drink the lemonade, the dangerous lemonade. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. the yeah. lemonade that kills send, you. Send a video of it. We'll do. Yeah. Lemonade that kills we'll do. you. Yeah. Okay. This has been Hard Lore with Brendan from Incendiary. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.